So I hear this all the time from people. I'm going to wait until silver shows me something before I start buying it. It's too volatile. The price is up and down, mostly down. So I'm going to wait till silver starts to go up before I'm convinced to buy it. <laughs> well, let me show you why that may not be the best idea. Silver Joker here. Okay, so today is February 26th, 2023. It's about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can buy physical silver right now for $23.56. That's $2.55 over spot, which is just over 12% premium. That's the lowest it's been in a while. And without endorsing any of the resources I use to find this information out, I will leave a link in the description so you can go and check this out for yourself. So I really started stacking physical silver around like the end of 2015, and I was paying right around 16 to $19 an ounce with the premium. I mean, that's what it was when I first started stacking. And that was for generic silver. During that first year of stacking, my first year of seriously stacking, I went all in. <laughs> and I actually spent more money for silver than I actually had to spend for silver. I made a lot of mistakes. I learned from those mistakes, but I bought a lot of silver. Now, I don't care who you are. I don't care how you do the numbers. If I was to sell that amount of silver, I would earn more today than what it cost me to get it. Now, here's what a lot of people miss when they uh, are negative towards silver and its growth over the years. They believe that they lose money when silver's $25 an ounce, then it goes down to $18 an ounce, then back up and then back down. But this is what they miss. Your silver's only worth that if you sell at that price. Now, if you're a long-term stacker like myself and many others, silver is means more to you than the, the money that it's gonna make you when you sell it. It's for security. So the price to get it is not as important as what it's gonna do for you. If you're holding your silver, you bought silver at $20 an ounce, and now you look and it's down to $19 an ounce, you're only losing if you sell at that time. And you decide when that time is. You get to decide when the correct time is to turn your silver into fiat currency, if you need to do that. Now, I'm hoping, like many of the other long-term stackers, is that we're gonna be able to use our silver transactionally in the future. But even if that day never comes for us, we're still gonna be able to have the value that that silver's worth when we go to sell it. And that's what's important. Silver's not an investment in the active sense of an investment. I mean, silver's not an active investment. It's not meant to return you an active income. What it's meant to do is protect your buying power protect your already earned wealth because physical bullion is trustworthy. It is the promise fulfilled. Those dollars are a promise. A promise that whatever nation printed those dollars are gonna be able to make good on those dollars. In other words, based on the economy, based on the growth of that nation's wealth. Now we've seen that a lot of nations have not been able to make good on those promises. So they print a lot more of those promises, which becomes worthless over time. Now, if you look, you'll see that there's no way any nation has as much wealth as the amount of currency that they've printed. It's just, a, it's an impossible scenario anymore. So to protect yourself, to protect your physical financial health, you need something that's outside of those dollars. And that's what we preach here, you know, in the silver stacking community. It's not that the silver is gonna make you rich. What it's gonna do is gonna protect your buying power. It's always gonna have value. Whenever it comes down to you needing something to survive, food, shelter, water, ammunition, whatever you deem is necessary for you to survive, what are you gonna put your faith in? Those fiat dollars or something that is gonna be recognized as having value by 
everybody on the planet. You don't have to have it in U.S. currency. You don't have to have it in the yen or euros because everybody accepts gold and silver all around the world. And so that's all I'm saying here. If you want to protect your financial health, then there's no better way as far as I'm concerned than something tangible and physical that you control personally. And it's always going to have value. You know, you, you can't always rely on being able to get physical bullion with currency. That's just the way it is. Anyway, I think I preached enough, but I just wanted to just make that clear. I think now is the time. If you're going to stack physical silver, now is the time. If you're waiting for silver to go up in price, that makes no sense <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you if you trust that silver is going to go up in value, which it will, then now is the time to buy it because the premiums are lower than they've been in a long time. Now, I'm not saying go all in on silver. I'm not pumping silver. It's just that this is a silver channel. I believe that silver is your best, one of your best options to protecting your financial health. So I'm going to preach the benefits of that. But you do what you feel is right for you. There's lots of channels here on YouTube that will give you a different point of view about physical silver. Do your own research and then come to your own conclusions. And I believe you'll come to the same conclusions many of us have. At least some of your savings should be put in something tangible and physical and outside of fiat currency. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. I got a lot of shorts that I'm doing. I finally discovered the YouTube silver shorts. <laughs> so I'm making a bunch of them. You guys go and check those out. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking.